Hi and welcome to the new Sample Genie sessions. Um, my name is Adis Kutkut, also known as Bilan. Um, I will be covering arrangement overall, dissecting uh, my track, uh, which in this case is Macula, uh, the track that has been released on Critical's imprint, uh, Binary. Uh, we will be dissecting arrangement in terms of several different aspects. So when I say arrangement, I mean playlist arrangement, pattern playlist arrangement, channels arrangement, and samples overall for achieving the maximum from your idea and making it and turning it into a track. So yeah, uh, this is Macula. And the first thing you will notice that I've been using the duality of, of playlist arrangement, uh, which is kind of a hybrid now because I, I chose this track because it's the best track to, to show like the best from the both worlds in FL Studio. Although this, uh, this second playlist has already been discounted by the newest versions, I still sometimes find that it's a very good thing in terms of workflow um, but we will talk about it a little bit later um, the main loop idea is probably this main uh, section right here which are uh, timed pattern blocks which have their own happenings right here so let's have a listen to them <laughs> So what I did here is, um, I think the best way to to, to, to explain uh, my whole process and give a proper tutorial is to dissect an existing track because it's something that I would do for my own production. So that's, I think, the pinpoint of my knowledge so far. And well, it's a, this track is also a little bit older track. And so all of, of my tips and tricks might be stored in a nicely manner here in this track. Uh, but it all started from this one loop, and this is definitely pattern 32, which sounds like this. Um, and it is basically the same principle in uh, with with probably any other track uh, that uh, I find to. The, the groove, I discovered the groove first and, and later try some variations with the bass lines and stuff like in one pattern. In any other case, it would probably be uh, something that has to do with the uh, pads and some other intros. But uh, in most cases, I start with a loop just like this and try to position stuff um, and get some vibe going on. So. The reason I'm still with the pattern blocks is um, basically you don't need to, to have the burden of the track complexity because you're doing one step at a time and these are all, I would I will definitely call them as steps. Um, they are procedures, they, they are kind of staircase, proce procedural staircases and by the time you're done with them you have the whole track but uh, you can end up like f making very complex tunes just because you have a uh, smart arrangement i believe so because it's it's just a pattern 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 you can concentrate at one pattern at a time which gives you a whole lot of like you can go like into detail architecture and and trying to get some groove going and making it uh, as progressive as possible so it's it's i think it's still a good approach to to sometimes came up with tracks and stuff uh, is it is one of the reasons i still have fl studio uh, version 10 so i can have this uh pattern block playlist opened it all comes to this idea to to get some uh, groove going uh, with the bass lines and uh, you can see a lot of samples are turned off 
because they have been probably a part of the older process of searching for uh, some good vibe and stuff, but they haven't been deleted. The reason is because um, I like to keep everything as a backup at some point because it's 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 quite handy if you come up to find out that some old good uh, some old idea might sound really nice and eventually could happen somewhere in the track and you still have it saved and rearranged in the piano roll so it happens so how i come with the the whole thing well the build up you know we will talk a little bit on the channel uh later but uh let's say for the groove uh what is important is um I'm trying to find some interesting uh, uh, drum groove and in this case um, I'm, I'm just gonna turn on the main thing from the grooves this happens to be it without hi-hats uh, with hi-hats it's So I have one kick, little kick there, um, and one snare, another snare, another kind of little snare. Um, yeah, that's the part um, taken from some older break I have. And they're all relayered uh, on channels. Uh, got I got some kind of little loop that has been rearranged to have some percussion uh, appeal to it. Um, some more drum loops, uh, ghostly stuff, uh, little hats, occasional happenings, um, and. Then I come up with that. So <clears throat> after multiple tries, of course, and 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 I find like what it suits me the most. Uh, it's something that will eventually end up uh, being a good pattern, while I, some other is gonna be just deleted. Or so I come up with the groove that that works best. I start putting different samples. The thing with 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 my production is my production is probably like ninety percent uh, sample based because I like to work with samples. I don't work too much with VST instruments in terms of like I'm not using them uh, when when I'm making a track. I'm using it when I'm making samples. Uh, I end up eventually having all the samples important from my older libraries missing I mean I mean the libraries I've been um, constructed uh, from from this previous sessions uh, in terms of uh, synthesizer sessions and stuff so all the bass lines are just layers of different synths uh, and since I've been using most was uh, definitely massive uh, FM8 Access Virus Ti, Waldorf Bluffeld, and a little bit of Juno uh, from Roland. And I've been using a lot of output equipment. Uh, got SPLs, uh, got Focusrite, uh, got Sherman Filter Bank, S lots of those bass lines, and uh, using their layers and their results uh, in sessions that have been pre recorded for 30 minutes, then cut into small groups of interesting bass lines have been rearranged in contact instrument to get like uh, different breeds so all of these samples like the the, the, the brown ones uh, most of them are the samples that I have been uh, making out of different uh, breeds of different uh, synths and processing them further with outboard equipment and plus uh, using uh, internal effects maybe f either from SPL or, or, or uh, Access Virus TI internal effects as comp filtering and different types of distortions and and getting uh, getting back to the input of the sound card. Uh, they're all breeds of breeds of breeds because after some sixth 
breathing so you end up having really unique bass lines and really unique results so the, in two modes in some modes you can always reuse them and try to mangle them even f uh, further but you you always tend to make uh, slight changes in the bass line and uh, this sample property uh, box is very, very uh, versatile uh, when it comes to uh, inputting samples more than just audio files because you can play with piano roll and change different settings. And So when I try to reshape some bass line for further uh, some other track, uh, I can easily do it here, uh, stretch it. Um, Um, try to do the pogo, try to reverse, and I always end up some having some really cool different kind of effects. In any other case, I would be using probably Harmo uh, from 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 FL Studio from from ImageLine and and trying to do the same thing with importing the waves and everything else is just a lot. A lot of EQ, which I'll be talking in the when I come to the uh, channel settings stuff, uh, and this is very good uh, because then, in a, in a way, let's use it as an analogy that this is my VSTI because these are my wavetables, and I'm giving them different feeds and putting them in a layered manner. You can see. Like this one is the first one that hits. This is next to the first one, and trying to find the correct notes and stuff, and rearrange them in a such way that they have their own phrase and they sound as one baseline. Although they don't sound as one baseline, they're just really smartly placed after numerous different tries. So the most logical thing for them is to sound uh, is sound like this so I came up with that phrase uh, it's a little bit of this uh, this one this one they'll have like this different different qualities um, and they eventually end up having different kind of with different timings comes different like I always try several uh, different variations until I find the most interesting one and use it as a main one and then I try to develop other ideas out of the main one um, which is kind of logical progression so um, there you have it in terms of grooves and everything, the arrangement and, 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 and how to come with the idea. Uh, once you get the idea sorted, lots of different aspects need to be satisfied. So I will slowly, s probably from this groove and the bass line, I will just switch to the channel. Uh, <laughs>